Movie magic. The long-awaited Sonic sequel is almost here. Spectacular sneaks. You can get your hands on these Sonic shoes. Talk of the town. Tails broke the two worlds theory, and Sonic fans are wondering who's this character. And we'll take a look at these cool collabs coming your way. Let's do this. The road to the Sonic movie sequel has been busy. You're no match for me. There have been a lot of posters, advertisements, and collaborations all over the world. For example, McDonald's is having a campaign featuring toys of characters from the film. Meanwhile, themed buses are making the rounds, and billboards are being spotted across the world. Times Square in New York City is also ready to go, with a lot up for display. And on social media, a series of posters were released. Please, I'm going by Blue Justice now, trademark pending. And this is Tails. He's a double threat, fluffy and adorable. The cast and crew offered more insight about the movie in a series of interviews for the press. We took basically everything that, that, we, that we loved about the first movie and, and just, just went bigger. I mean, the action, the humor, um, but, but the heart as well. I mean, that's the, the most important thing not to lose sight of. There's Easter eggs everywhere, and I think people watching will love it. But we go to all sorts of places. We, Sonic is able to run over water and go to like uh, islands that have been lost for eons. And I really want the fans, you know, like there's a lot of pressure for me internally, you know, like hope I get Knuckles right. People go, oh, no, okay, Knuckles was cool. I'm looking forward to the fans getting to see it. I, I'm looking forward to their reactions, to see how it's received. I am relishing every single second of everything I get to do. He does return, and we'll just, uh, I don't want to give it away, but vengeance is definitely the, uh, the order of the day, you know? And it gets big. It gets very big. It's a true story about friendship and the meaning of, of sacrifice and being willing to do, to do what it takes to help your friends and save your friends and your family. Maddie and Tom are trying to get him to slow down a bit in life, you know? And, and uh, there's some really sweet themes that kind of go through the movie with that. It's, it's not all about crime fighting, you know? I think this movie, as well as the first one, they're both movies about acceptance. You know, when we met Sonic in the first one, he was this super lonely character, desperate for a family. And we're gonna meet Tails and Knuckles in this story, and we're gonna see a lot of similarities between what they're going through emotionally and what Sonic did. Producer Toby Asher reportedly reassures that they are creating a Sonic cinematic universe. Later on, producer Neil Moritz said that the sequel made them even more excited to expand the world. Uh, I think that's what ultimately made the film successful is, is there was an endearing, uh, great character that people loved and were able to root for and go on a, a great journey with them. Director Jeff Fowler mentioned that this Sonic Cinematic Universe won't follow the game chronology. In fact, it will be a little bit of cherry picking and a little bit of a melting pot. Don't worry though. Fowler does say that if they didn't get it in one film, there's always a chance they'll revisit it somewhere else. Elsewhere, Sega Hardlight announced that a Sonic 2 themed event will be coming to Sonic Forces Speed Battle. The event will feature the ability to take part in three special events that will run between April to May. In Blue Justice, you'll have until the 12th of April to gain cards for Movie Sonic. After that will be the Tailspin event, and it works in the same way. While Challenger Mode is active, players will encounter a powerful Challenger that will appear whenever they race. Following that will be the Fists of Rage event. Completing missions will earn players guaranteed Challenger cards for Movie Knuckles, who has two new items. As for the festivities as a whole, you'll find gold rings in event rewards, and players will be able to open free gifts that could contain these characters unlocked. There's also a similar event happening in Sonic Dash where players have a chance to unlock Movie Sonic right now. A new track is being released based on the film, and it will be a permanent addition to the game. There's also new events on the way for players to unlock Movie Tails and Knuckles. And take a look at this. Yes, it's real. A South Korean brand unveiled these Sonic movie themed sneakers. Although quantity is limited for certain sizes and they are exclusive to North America, make no mistake that you can buy them right now. It's the first time fans can grab an officially licensed sneaker based on Sonic's iconic kicks. 
<laughs> and that's not all. A cinema-exclusive IDW Sonic issue will be available at select theaters in the United States. Meanwhile, AMC will give away this collector's print by Tyson Hess, which you can get on the 6th of April. Well, believe it or not, a crossover event was underway in Candy Crush Saga, where you will be able to play as Movie Sonic and participate in two modes. The first one, Sonic Dash Collection, is a challenge where the player must collect 12,000 blue Sonic candles in four days. Challenge number two is the Great Chase. It requires the player to chase the Jelly Queen by collecting the blue Sonic candles and levels. This time, you're competing online against other players on a leaderboard. If you manage to get into the top 10 of your group of players, there are sweet rewards you can get. Meanwhile, a free-to-play racing game named Kart Rider will be collaborating with Sonic. We also got a few screenshots, with one paltry mention of... And no, IDW is not ignoring the Sonic movie sequel either. In fact, an issue came out that will serve as the official prequel. Sonic's life in Green Hills may be good, but it's also starting to get boring. And if there's one thing Sonic doesn't like, it's boredom. Other characters, both new and returning, also get some spotlight in their own stories. You can check out the preview pages of the new comic issue out right now on the Sonic News Leader, TalesChannel.com. Speaking of IDW, June will officially mark the 50th issue of the fledging comic book series. Dr. Starline has been causing a lot of trouble recently, and now he's about to begin the next phase of his plan in Surge and Kit. His goal? Defeat Sonic as well as Dr. Eggman. The issue is projected to release in late June. We'll get to more Sonic movie news in a moment, but first, a recap on that Tales Tube episode. Just chill. The concept of Sonic Cannon's two worlds was actually addressed. It was revealed that Sonic's world, the one seen in the games, contains a bunch of major continents and small islands. Humans and animals settled in different places. You will usually see animals live on islands and humans live on continents. The second interesting thing was this concept art of an unknown human character. It is unknown who this character is, with some thinking it might appear in Sonic Frontiers. When a Sonic fan asked Ian Flynn about it on Twitter, all he gave was a knowing smile and added these comments on a recent podcast. It's up to you how high you want to build your expectations. Just be prepared to be very wrong is all I'm saying. There has been an update in regards to Sonic Prime. Well, sort of. Well, Wild Brain hinted to investors last October about Sonic Prime's ambitious animation. It has allowed us to sort of reevaluate our 3D pipeline. We're able to provide a really cinematic look that is honestly making it feel like a Marvel movie when we get into the action sequences. Meanwhile, Netflix broke the silence and published a tweet about the new 3D animated series, seemingly reassuring fans about a 2022 release date. However, 24 hours later, the tweet has since been deleted, though it isn't the first time they've done this. Nevertheless, it seems that the wait for Sonic Prime isn't going to last much longer. Now back to the Sonic movie. You may remember that the first Sonic movie had a theme song. Well, the sequel got a theme song of its own. While the French got Speed Life, the rest of the English-speaking world got Stars in the Sky and features a music video where a trio of Sonic fan sprite artists worked on it. You can check out our thoughts on it in the description. Microsoft and Xbox have announced a Sonic Movie 2 contest. If you follow and retweet the official contest announcement, you'll earn a chance to win a customized Series S console, as well as these furry controllers. No, really, they're furry. They're red and blue for Sonic and Knuckles, respectively. As for the contest itself, it isn't furry, but you must be 18 or older to enter, and it ends the 4th of April. Jack Pacific is partnering with plush maker Great Eastern Entertainment to produce these two plushes. This is the first time that both characters have been turned into plushies in more than 20 years. There's also a new wave of Sonic plushes on the way, which includes Modern Sonic and Mighty. However, it also includes, for the first time ever, plushies of the J Ghost Wisp and Ray. They're expected to be released this August. And during Jack Pacific's WonderCon panel, they revealed a new wave of Sonic toys. Among them are figures of classic Eggman, classic Knuckles, 
Espio, and Egg Robo. There's also a movie collection pack containing a few variants of Movie Sonic. These waves will be releasing soon, so stay tuned! Get ready to put on your Sonic sneakers! The Metal Dash's Sonic Challenge is officially underway, and it's not too late to join either! In fact, you've got until New Year's Eve to register. All you have to do is participate in a 5K, 10K, or 20K run or walk. Doing so will earn you limited edition, officially licensed finisher items. It includes t-shirts, run bibs, collector's medals, and more! Also, a Sonic collab with apparel brand Just Hype was announced. It features a range of adult and children's apparel and accessories. They use highlights featuring monochrome themes, traditional Sonic color palettes, neon accents, and it's all fused with the manufacturer's signature contemporary silhouettes, composed of shapes and various classic era pictures. This collection of items becomes available after the 31st of March. In other news, first four figures are about to unveil pre-orders for a new Sonic 30th statue. There's also new limited edition Sonic cereal, and Sonic is getting new DLC content in Minecraft. Stay connected on our social media and follow the Sonic News Leader, TalesChannel.com.